how are you all doing? My name is Shaz, short for Shaharazad, and I love colorful makeup. Today we're going to do another to buy or not to buy video. In these videos I talk about new makeup that has released or has been sneak peeked, and I tell you my opinion and if I'm intending to pick anything up. I also encourage you to write to me in the comments below if you are picking any of these new releases or if you have any particular opinions about any of them. Also in this video, I'm going to do this eye look with Rogue Palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. Interestingly, I'm also going to just talk about this palette as a new release in this video. So I'm kind of excited about that because this is the first time I'm doing this. If this sounds interesting to you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now let's go into the video. Okay beauties, as you saw in the intro, this is going to be the first time where I'm going to be using a palette that has just released in the same video where I'm going to announce the release of the palette. I am so excited. This palette is a beautiful palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous, and I can't wait to jump into it. A little bit of housekeeping items. First of all, Yes, I have pumpkin spice candle. Actually, it's not pumpkin spice candle. It's pumpkin cheesecake this time. Burning here. Friends, I know in a few of my past videos, I said Austin is warm. I don't know what's going on. It can't make up its mind. It's like 40 degrees outside right now. It's, it got very cold, and I started feeling like I'm kind of getting under the weather, but I'm feeling better now. I also have my coffee. Yes, yes, need it to get through the video. Also, you feel free to get whatever you need. So obviously the first thing I wanted to talk about, I already talked about, which is this beauty. I'm putting Painterly from MAC on my eye. I bought this, I think last weekend or something. I was still pretty impressed by the speed of shipping, but I have to say that in the past when I purchased from uh, fantasy cosmetica it shipped and got to me in two days after i ordered so this time it was a little longer but it was normal it was just not express i have a review of i think every single fantasy cosmetica palette in this channel i have a video with the first two palettes druid and sorcerer and then I have a second video with Bard. I will link them down below or on the screen somewhere if you're curious. I like Fantasy Cosmetica. I'm just quickly going into this color. If you're curious to know my thoughts about Fantasy Cosmetica as a brand, feel free to go into those videos. But I also want to say that I am planning on doing a video, a full review of this palette also with maybe two other eye looks. I would have said three, but I'm already doing a third one here. And I also purchased these two, the uh, perfumes that Fantasy Cosmetica released with the palette. This is the Druid perfume and the Rogue perfume. So stay tuned for that. The next thing I want to talk about is a few things I've heard about Adept. First of all, the Amunet New is on sale on their website. I think it's, I don't remember what the percentage off but I think it's either $33 or $30 right now if you want to purchase those two palettes. They're thinking about phasing those palettes out and if you missed out on purchasing them, now is your chance. I have contemplated purchasing them, friends, but I have a very, very large collection and I've recently also purchased a few other things that are going to come up in this channel, so stay tuned for those. Another thing I heard about Adept is that they're thinking about bringing back House of L, but making it, instead of a 9-pan palette, a 15-pan palette. So they're going to add six shades to it. I never purchased that palette, and the prospect of buying the same shades in a larger capacity was actually pretty attractive. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm looking to, forward to seeing what they're going to release. The next thing I wanted to talk about was Catrice's collab with My Little Pony. Friends, this is so cute. I am a kid. We've talked about this before. 
the reason the brands are collabing with all of our favorite childhood sitcoms and videos and shows is because they know that they can get our money doing that. They know that we love these characters. The palette, however, looks kind of cheap. It looks like stuff you would buy in the drugstore. Another thing is that I'm not sure how I feel about a palette that has all kinds of sh different shades. Like I, I usually think to myself, I like some level of gradient, at least with one of the colors in the palette. And I, I mean, I suppose you can do a combination of the purples and the pinks or the blues and the purples. Are, are those nail polishes? Those are cute. Those are cute, but I'm usually wearing press-ons friends. Let me quickly show you my nails. So I don't think that's for me. Also, do I remember correctly that Catrice is sold in the drugstore in Europe? If that is the case, if I see this collection in Poland on my trip or in any of the other cities I'm traveling to, maybe I'll pick something up. Maybe I will. We'll see. The next brand I want to talk about, friends, is Bella Beauté Bar. They are releasing this, a gigantic palette of mostly pastel colors. This palette could have been reduced to like maximum 16 shades. I don't think you needed something this big. So this palette is going to have 36 pans. 24 mattes, one multichrome, and 11 duochrome shimmers. And it is $69. The price isn't bad knowing it has this many pans, but I don't know. I don't need this. And it's not that, the colors are not that deep. So I'll pass. This other release by Bella Beauté Bar, I talked about briefly last time, but in that video, it hadn't fully released, so I didn't talk about the details. The name of this palette is Make Your Own Magic. It's going to have nine pan magnetic eyeshadows. This palette is going to have a six multichromes and three holochromes. I'm not sure what holochromes are. You can also purchase the magnetic palettes separately, or I'm guessing also the shades separately if you want to buy the shades and put it in a separate type of palette. I am on their site and looking at some of these swatches and I can't really see what holochromes could mean. Maybe they're holographic, but you can't necessarily see it in the, in the swatches online. The palette, however, with everything in it is $145, friends. Yes, you heard right, $145 for nine shades. This is up my alley, and Bella Beauté Bar is a brand that I've been talking about wanting to try this year. It's just that $145, I don't know. Like, how many people have that kind of money just to spend on a nine pan palette? You know, it's like, oh yeah, I'll just take my money, you know? I don't know don't know it's sold out right now which means i don't have to worry about it yet do you think 145 dollars is a lot of money for nine pounds but it's undeniably beautiful i mean that's how they get you next thing i want to talk about is a brand that i really really like and you all already know glaminatrix yes they are releasing a quad of singles called wood fire which is beautiful so the two shimmer colors, one is a very light shimmer that is supposed to be a sparkly shimmer with uh, that is gold with sparkles of pink and green. And the other one is a multichrome between orange, red, green, and gold. I find this quad absolutely gorgeous, particularly the shimmery colors, but I love Glaminatrix. I would totally be the type of person who would pick up this quad even with the matte browns which are neutrals again friends if this is the first video you're watching i'm not a huge neutral person hence buying these kinds of palettes but what i'm saying is that this is so beautiful even a non-neutral lover is drawn to it and wants to have it i think this quad is already available at 30 usd okay beauties let me pick up a fluffier brush and I'm going to go into this beautiful color called Stealth. 
gorgeous 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 and i'm just blending these the last review i did of fantasy cosmetica was of the bard palette and the mattes or at least most of the mattes in that palette are neutral colors or orangish those are colors that are very commonly made and by now the world has perfected how to make them so getting those mattes correct is honestly not the biggest deal because those are the most common eyeshadows in existence but i remember in the review of sorcerer and maybe even druid i said that the mattes particularly the dark mattes need layering and they were a little thin friends I absolutely don't feel that with this palette. Just look at this. I don't even need to layer this again. And that was like the first application. And this tells me that the brand is listening. They have watched some people's reviews and they're trying to get better. And I love that. I love it. On top of the fact that they do colorful things, which is totally my thing. On top of the fact that they do small palettes, which is also my thing. I'm just loving it by the way all of these palettes also have a mirror if you care about that i travel a lot particularly i do a lot of like weekend travels or short-term tra travels for work or just for fun and being able to just take one nine pan with you is huge instead of having to figure out how many palettes to take with you particularly if the nine pan allows for different types of looks this came out a while ago, but I never got to talk about it because I haven't made one of these to buy or not to buy in a little bit. Now, this palette is already available. I'm on Clarity Cosmetics website and you can buy it. It's not even sold out. And it's Bridal Party. It's $45. A little too neutral for me, but can't deny it's cute. From the swatches, it looks like there might be a few duochromes in there but i'm not 100 percent sure they might just be shimmers that have a very light shift judging by the price i'm assuming there are not going to be any multichromes but it's a beautiful palette it's just that i don't do neutrals as you know the next thing i wanted to talk about are these mini six pans from martine cosmetics i think martine is a belgian or a french brand I think the name is supposed to be French. These are beautiful. I only saw these three. I couldn't find more than these three. And I think they're good looking. You can buy the whole bundle of three for 80 euros. Or you can buy them each for 30 euros. They're, and, and the collection is called Mini Choins. With a T at the beginning. I don't know how that's pronounced. But okay these are mostly very common colors neutralish colors so not my thing martin cosmetics has definitely had other palettes in the past that i found way more interesting they are a brand i'm looking to purchase something from if they release something that's totally up my alley you know maybe if they release one of these that was green or if they release one of these that was like purple or colorful or something then we'd be talking but these colors i'm very likely not going to use because I, there's just so much redundancy in my collection already for these colors and and the neutral grays i don't think i use grays at all and i have enough i'm going to go into this color the green one what's the name of the color shadows and I'm going to put it under my lower lash line. There has been some fall off from the dark color and that's fine. Not the biggest of deals. And while I'm doing this, friends, I can't wait to receive Muse. I've ordered it and that's the palette that I'm thinking about taking on the trip with me. So I am hoping I will receive it sometime in the next few days so that I can take it. Otherwise, if I don't receive it in time... Hopefully it's not going to get lost in the mail. I'm just having my fingers crossed. The only issue I have with this palette, friends, I feel like I don't even have to say that. Wait for it. It's a matte black. Why does it have to be a matte black? Why? Fantasy Cosmetica, are you hearing me? Moving on. Unearthly Cosmetics is releasing a new brush set. 
it comes with a pouch and nine brushes sorry it's eight brushes eye brushes and face brushes i have been eyeing unearthly cosmetics brushes i don't really do a whole lot to my face other than moisturizer i don't really have a need for face brushes and i have plenty of face brushes that rarely get used which is why i'm an unlikely person to purchase a complexion and eye brush set together but these are cute i love the orange tip it's 35 dollars, which is also not a bad price so if this is up your alley you do you friends I'm definitely eyeing Unearthly altogether because I think I, Unearthly is going to happen for me sometime this year. Beauties, let's talk about this one. I had never heard of this brand, but I saw this palette, all shimmers. A lot of the colors in the image look the same, but hey, we talk about indie makeup all the time. So this is yet another indie brand. It seems like this is a UK brand called Magical Makeup. And this palette is called Magical Earth Spirit Palette. And it has nine shades that are a combination of duochromes and multichromes. And it is 55 pounds, which at the time of this filming, it's around 60 to $70. Now, I feel like that's a high price. Also, perhaps on top of that, you have to pay for shipping. But maybe this is an amazing palette so i don't want you to miss out on it i have to talk about it it's mostly neutral colors so i'm probably not going to purchase it i also feel like i have dupes for these multiple times over but if you've used this brand in the past or if you've heard anything about this brand definitely let me know i would like to know as you know i love finding new brands beauties the next thing i want to talk about is Easter Bunny collection from SNB Beauty. This collection at the moment is on sale on SNB Beauty's website. So you can get some money off if you want the collection. And they're so cute. SNB Beauty usually talks about their releases as pressed pigments. They rarely call them shadows or I don't know, face pigments and things like that. I'm just on their website. This is also a UK brand. And if you buy the whole bundle together, you will get two British pounds off. And it's a super cute bundle, folks. That is so cute. If I wasn't going on a trip, maybe I would purchase this just to try this brand because it's $23 for the whole bundle. Honestly, that's not a lot. But of course, when you're shopping from it far away, then you also need to consider the shipping cost. In this collection, they also have a few other things. They have loose pigment bundles, they have glitter bundles, they have gloss bundles, and a few other things. My recommendation is, if this is something that's interesting to you, for you to go on their website. The prices look very reasonable to me. And I'm thinking that I might add this brand as a brand to try at some point. And before we continue, I'm going to take a small but round-headed brush into the same color, Stealth, and I'm going to diffuse this color in my lower lash a little bit. Okay, beauties, the next thing I want to talk about is so cute. This is Sesame Street Collection in collaboration with Wet n Wild. The whole PR collection is $75. I don't know if anybody really needs the whole PR collection. It's cute. These kinds of things are really for people who grew up with those characters. I never grew up with Sesame Street because I grew up in a country that didn't have Sesame Street, but I love the Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is the height of cuteness. So, you know, and I kind of commiserate because I love cookies. Cookie Monster loves cookies. Yeah. We, we understand each other. I looked at the different things in this collection. I thought to myself, what would I purchase? The eyeshadow palette, similar to the eyeshadow palette of a lot of other more or less recent collection that Wet n Wild has had, like the Snoopy collection, like the, was it the Twin Stars collection with Sanrio, um, and a few other collections that they came out in the past year. It looks a little bit cheap and drugstore-y. First of all, I'm already kind of against plastic packaging, let alone plastic packaging with a clear lid. Now, I understand 
A lot of people might be thinking the opposite to this because a lot of people want to very easily be able to recognize the colors in a palette. So they want a clear lid, particularly makeup artists. But let's be honest, this is not for makeup artists. But it's cute. I can't deny that. So going back to if I were to purchase something from this, the lipsticks look cute and those are totally my colors. I'm all for decently priced, bright colored lipsticks. I'm not sure if they're eye pencils, but I'm going to assume they're eye pencils that have Elmo on them. Those are cute and I could see myself picking those up. The hand mirror again with Cookie Monster on it. That's so cute. And I could totally see myself picking that up. Do I need a hand mirror? No. But I could always put a cute little hand mirror in my work bag. You know, I don't think I would purchase anything else. The brush set, I don't really need. It's childish. I am not going to pick a brush set that has two face brushes and two eye brushes that are just random eye brushes. When I have expensive brushes in my collection, I wouldn't see myself using these brushes. I do have to say though, I did purchase a few things from the Snoopy collection. I went to the Walmart near my house towards the end of last year and I did pick a few things from the Snoopy collection that I found. One of them was this thing, which is a face soap. I think it's a charcoal soap. Yeah. Charbon, yes. Charcoal soap and one of these face cleansers. And th this is something I will use. I also purchased some of their nail arts that you can put on your nails. Those were cute because they had Snoopy and I might have bought something else that is just escaping me right now. But saying that to say that if I go to Walmart and I see these, I might do an impulse buy, <laughs> you know, that is also possible. Now let's quickly go back into this beautiful palette. Uh, but first I'm going to use a little bit of NYX across my lid. So I don't know if you can see the colors in this palette. They are quite a bit of duochromes in this palette. Maybe there is a multichrome. I think they might have said that there is a multichrome as well. I don't know which color is the multichrome, but these are definitely, the, but the shimmers, I think all are at least duochrome. I'm going to go into this middle purple one called Slight of Hand, this one, which is Insanity. This might be the multichrome. It's beautiful. I think you all see teal, but I see purple when I'm looking at it and it's insane and I'm just putting this at the center here okay beauties it seems like in the wet n wild collection they also have lip scrubs that are stick form and also face scrubs no this isn't a face scrub it's a glitter gel now I'm not a glitter gel type of a person but I would be open to a lip scrub that is in a stick form if it works also I see that Elmo brush container and that is also super cute would i need it maybe not and they also have a hairband they also have temporary tattoos so they have a good bit of stuff i did want to say that i don't think that photo is capturing everything or at least not capturing everything well enough for you all to be able to see the next thing i want to talk about are these two palettes called urban decay times smiley mini palettes it's in collaboration with Smiley. I don't know if Smiley is an artist, I'm supposing. These are kind of cute. They have cute art on them. They're $33 each, but as you can see, 90% neutral. So not my cup of tea. Also friends, Urban Decay is a brand I have not used since Naked 3. And that, yeah, that is true, since Naked 3. I don't know if you all remember this, but Urban Decay was one of the pioneers. They were one of those brands that would put neon yellow in a palette in the early 2000s when no other brand would even go beyond browns. So seeing them do this is a little bit of confusion. Yeah, I, I don't know if their thing is just to be different I expected something a little different because this is a little too mainstream for me. I, I don't know. And I'm obviously not talking about the packaging. I'm talking about the colors inside. But the thing is that I usually don't buy something just for the packaging. I mean, it has to be the packaging plus what's in it to attract me. 
but I understand majority of the people like a combination of neutrals and colors so I think these palettes are ideal for somebody who's trying to get out of palettes that are all neutral and go a little bit towards colors okay beauties I'm now gonna take a relatively pointy brush and I'm gonna go into this one what is the name sneak attack and I'm putting this right down here and that is a beautiful very wet looking color the type that is a teal glaze over a red brown base and I love that and while I'm doing this friends let's talk about the next brand which is Colourpop and Colourpop is releasing in full bloom collection which has a 12 pan palette called heavy petal cheek dews and lipsticks four of each and I think some face creams or things like that as well now the only thing in this whole collection that caught my eyes are the lipsticks I love those lipsticks so you never know maybe I'll pick something up but not this minute not this minute let everything go on sale and then we'll talk friends I was a little bit surprised by this palette because it looks awfully similar to a few of Colourpop's past palettes that have been I think discontinued like was it very so lovely yeah or, or very lovely or so very so very lovely that was the name so very lovely this one and I think there was also another one um I'm gonna put the photo up yeah this palette is absolutely nothing revolutionary it, in fact it's less revolutionary than the other ones on which this one is based moving on before i say something it's bell cosmetics has released a brush bundle it is going to come with a free bag it's 36 dollars and it's going to come with 10 brushes and one sponge and a free brush bag that's nice i'm looking at the brushes i like the fact that it has brushes with very small heads let me know what you think of these brushes if you've used them at this moment in time i'm not in the market for brushes i also picked up some brushes from cosmic brushes when i picked the muse palette Shh, you didn't hear that because i definitely don't need brushes i also periodically pick up brushes from tj maxx when i see expensive brands uh, brushes on sale at tj maxx so i don't think i need brushes this minute but if you've used this let me know i always like to keep a list of the things that people have recommended for when i feel like purchasing something beauties the next thing i want to talk about is sugar drizzle they have restocked quite a few of their things and i'm on their website looking at this their all matte rainbow purple pressed pigment palette is back for purchase meant to be is available for purchase dragonfly warrior is available for, for purchase their highlighter palette that they released a few months ago is available for purchase wanted to mention that because sugar drizzle is a fantastic brand and i have done a few review of their past palettes here i will link a few of them below i also I'm thinking that down the road I'll do a brand review and I will feature Sugar Drizzle because I think I have quite a few of their palettes and maybe I can help you purchase by providing some of my thoughts on the palettes that I've tried. Before I talk about the next brand I'm going to go into this color called Trickster and I'm using this color in my inner corner. Look at that. Oh, so nice. Okay beauties, the next brand I want to talk about is Terra Moons. They have already released their Spring Equinox 2023 collection. You can go on their website and order from their new collection. At this point in time, I don't think I want to pick anything up from Terra Moons. Part of it is because I don't want anything to be delivered to me when I'm out of the country just because that's going to be so complicated particularly usually when i put orders from terra Moons. i do relatively expensive orders and if that order gets lost i would be very upset and then also that i have a very extensive terra Moons collection i do have some plans for this channel related to the terra Moons collection that i have i just have not had a chance to do what i've wanted to do like for example swatching all of my terra Moons that i kept 
promising you I would do and it's already second quarter of 2023 and I haven't done that yet for you all so I'm not going to buy anything new until I get to do all of those things but I would love to hear from you if you're picking anything up because that is just exciting I love Termones as a brand it's one of my favorite brands I think they're super innovative I think their releases are very colorful and sparkly and shimmery and shifty and beautiful totally up my alley it's just that right now might not be the best time for me to pick anything up okay beauties my eye look is done but there's still one release that i want to talk to you all about and this is a release that i purchased today Mika Beauty Shop is collabing with Martha's Makeup, which is an amazing influencer. I've been following her for quite a bit, and they are releasing Serpent Palette together. I really wanted to support both Mika Beauty Shop. Maybe it's Mika Beauty Shop. I'm sorry, Mika or Mika, if I'm saying it wrong. Maybe you can correct me if I'm saying it wrong so that I next time say it correctly. I went on the website this morning and I purchased the palette it released today. I also wanted to purchase their Peacock palette, but when I got to the website, that one was out of stock, unfortunately, so I couldn't get my hands on it, but I might put another order and pick that palette up in the future when it comes back in stock because that palette is also super up my alley. I think it's super popular because it was restocked earlier this week and it went out of stock I think today it is a gorgeous palette so I can understand why people want to pick it up and can't really complain about that the name of the collab between Martes and Mika is serpent palette and it's a beautiful palette I wouldn't say that the color story of this palette is the most me of all the palettes that Mika Beauty Shop has because Mika Beauty Shop definitely has a lot more colorful palettes but I can't wait to receive it and do a few eye looks let me know if you're interested in that I also picked up a few of the other palettes that were available on Mika Beauty Shop just to test and try the brand and review it for you all okay beauties with that said we come to the end of this video i also went ahead and put a little bit of ofra's manila long lasting liquid lipstick on my lips i've talked about how much i like these lipsticks from ofra they don't dry out my lips so i like that thanks again for being here with me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also definitely write down below in the comments if you've picked up any of these palettes if you're excited about any of these palettes or if you're excited about any palette that has released recently that i forgot to talk about thanks beauties i love you all don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed already and press the bell to get notified every time i post new videos have an amazing day and until next time bye